My name is Patty Bostwick. I am the Chief Technology Officer for Zionsville Community Schools. We have roughly 6,300 students in eight buildings, roughly 700 teachers and staff members that we port here. We have been facing huge deficits in funding. About six, seven years ago, our funding was cut significantly. We have not been able to refresh any equipment since then, so we are operating with equipment that's eight, nine years old. Last spring, elementary school labs, some of our oldest buildings technology-wise, it would take them at least 20 minutes from turning them on to working. We were looking at uh, roughly $2.5 million to update our equipment, and that was money that we did not have. We started talking to them about virtualization. Had virtualization advanced to the point that it would do everything we needed it to do, they assured us that it had, and then actually listened to what our needs were what we needed it to do, and then worked with us to come up with the right solution that we could afford. We started engaging with the CFO and, and some of the finance people, and I think that was probably one of the most important steps. Um, it really helped us to identify not only where we see the benefits of this technology, but technology should allow us to do more with less, so we were able to identify areas where we could reduce budgets. There's 40 classrooms that are used for computer labs. By extending the capabilities of technology to every device, they were able to reclaim 40 classrooms. That has a big impact. If you've got a growing school district and you've got uh, you know, building issues, this is a, a technology that can help you, you know, kind of reduce that need. The great thing was they worked hard on their end. They didn't just come back with pricing for me and say, well, this is what it is. They worked and worked and got the pricing down, to the discounts down, and got Cisco and VM to work together so that we could actually make this work and afford it. One of the benefits in our partnership with NetTech has been that we have been able to virtualize all of the applications that our students and teachers use. And because we're a one-to-one -one district and bring your own device for our students, uh, many of the student machines are, have differing levels of capabilities in terms of what they can do, access, the speed. And so one of the things that NetTech has allowed us to do is level the playing field for student learners. They have amazing people that work for them. Um, we've used them for years in various other projects. They came into our school, they sent the best people, somebody who was maybe not as knowledgeable and had somebody on a phone call that they could call if they ran into trouble. They sent the experts. They're smart, they're on the spot, they, uh, they don't mince words, they're very frank about what's going on, and they, they went uh, very deep uh, on efforts to ensure that we could actually implement in terms of pricing and in working with us to make sure that the lattice work of supports that were required would actually all fit together so that uh, you know it, it was seamless to kids, it was seamless to parents and seamless to faculty. And we're still implementing, but uh, I will tell you that the first returns on, um, on feedback about that are so amazing. And the aha moments that kids and teachers are having are, uh, are worth everything that we've invested in relationship and in dollars with NetTech.